Hey everybody, uh, we're going to go over measures of central tendency and range today. So let's get started. Uh, measures of central tendency describes the spread of a set of data. Okay, Mean, median, mode. Range is not part of that. But anyway, uh, let's see. Let's get right to mean. So mean is just a fancy word for average. Okay. Step one, add all the numbers up. And step two, divide <clears throat> by how many numbers you have. We're going to do examples of this so it'll make sense in a moment. Okay, the median is the middle number. Okay, the number that's actually located in the middle. Uh, step one, you're going to put the numbers in order from least to greatest. <clears throat> and n, by the way, is the number of data points, the number of entries. Okay, if n is odd, if there's an odd number of values, then it's going to be the middle number, like the actual number is in the middle. And if it's even, that means you're going to have to find the average of the two numbers closest to the center. Okay, so it's, it is the average, <clears throat> or mean, of the two middle numbers. Okay. Oh, let's put the line on. Oops, there we go. Zoom in a little more here, too. Let's see you can see that a little better. Hold on. Okay. And the mode, <clears throat> the mode is the number that happens the most. It's the most often occurring number. Most often. There can be none, one, or more than one. Okay. Okay. Well, here's an example of this. Um, Five, seven, nine, 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 twelve, right? Here's the mode, because it happens the most often. Nine would be the mode. The range is a measure is a measure of the spread. It's a difference between the greatest or highest and lowest. Greatest and least number or highest and lowest. So greatest minus at least equals range, high minus low. Okay, I'm sure you guys can all see that. Okay, here's an example we can use. All right, so the weights and pounds of six members of basketball team are 161, uh, 156, 150, 156, 150, 163. So the first thing we want to do is put these numbers in order from lowest to highest. So the lowest number is 150. And it happens twice, I believe. And cross them out as you do this. So you don't do it twice. And then we have 156. And that happens twice. And then we have 161, or 161 rather. And we have 163. Okay. So the mean is the average. We're going to add these all up. So 150, 150, so we're right to sell down. 150 plus 150 plus 156 plus 156 plus 161 plus 163. We're going to divide that by how many data, data points there are. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Right. And that should equal, I already wrote this down here, so 936 is the sum up here, so 6, and divide that by 6, 156 is the average or the mean. So that's the mean. Median is going to be the middle number. So the middle number is, let's see, it's going to be, I'll just rewrite the order here, so 150, 150, that's better, 150, 156, 156, 161, 163. Now remember, if there's an even number of data points, it's going to be in between the two middle numbers. So this is 6, so it's going to be between these two values, because those are two middle numbers. And the average of these two numbers added together is obviously going to be that number. But if I want to write that out, it looks like this. 156 plus 156. Let's separate this. 
divided by 2 equals 156. So that's our median as well. So it's a different color to separate that, actually. Now, the mode is the number that happens the most. And that's actually a tie between 150 and 156. So the mode is two values. We're going to say 150 and 156. And the range is the high minus the low, or greatest minus the least. Separate that. So the highest is 163, and the lowest is 150. So our range is going to be 13. OK. Oh, I lost the point here. Let's try the last one, sample two. Do I have time to finish this? I think I do, yeah. So test grades were as follows. All right, so we have, they list all these numbers. I have to put them in order from lowest to highest. So the lowest number is 56. And cross these out, actually. Any 50s? No. 60s, 65. Any more 60s? No. 70s. So we have 75 and 78. Any 80s? 86 and 85. So 85 first. 86. And then 94, 93, 94, 98. 93, 94, 98. You can see the strategy I'm using here. I'm just finding the numbers by multiples of 10. OK, so the mean, we're going to add these all up. And I'm going to save the trouble. It's actually going to be 830. And we divide by the number of data points, which in this case is 10. So 830 divided by 10 would be 83. That's our mean. The middle number, well, there's 10 here. So we need to find the two middle numbers here and find their average. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. You can also do high, low, where you cross out the lowest and highest until you're in the middle. So it's going to be in between 85 and 86. So 85, and this is also, actually I'll show you that strategy since it's so often. What happen, oftentimes you'll see students doing this. They'll say low, high, low, high, low, high, low, high, and that leaves them with the two middle numbers. It's useful if there's a lot of numbers. 85 plus 80. Oh, totally changed colors. It's going to bother me. 85. Ah, looks. Uh, oh well, whatever. We'll deal with it. Divide by two, and that's going to be 85 and a half. Okay, the mode. What number happens the most here? I don't think there is one, because I don't think there's a single number that happens more than once. Nope. So no mode. And then the last one, we're going to do the high minus the low. Zoom down a little bit here. So our high is 100. Our low is 56. Is that 44? Yeah. 44 is our range. All right, so hopefully that answers any questions. Most of you have already seen this before in algebra. So yeah, let me know if you have any questions. Thanks, guys.